Back to Jeff Kanenge live here at Citizen Television. What a treat and an honor it is to have such a superstar, a humble superstar on the bench today. I'm telling you, the name Faith Kipiagon is known all over the globe. And this year alone, she smashed two world records in less than two months. Who does that? Faith Kipiagon. And just to show you how, when people say, Watu ametokam Bali, take a look at this picture, folks. Take a look at this. This is Faith at the age of 16, running barefooted in a cross country race. There she is, barefooted. Unbelievable. I wonder if she won those races, we'll ask her right now. <laughs> so from barefoot, look at her now, wearing some, uh, some cool kids, they say. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sequizi ni Nike, eh? Yes. Hey, but do you Nike see? Nike Jordan. Alafu? Yes. Noma. Yeah, watu utoka mbali, by the way. I'm so glad. Yes. Journey mekua very long. But tell me something, Faith. You ran barefooted because yes. you were not comfortable wearing shoes. See, oh? Or is it you didn't have shoes? I didn't have shoes at that time. Oh. Yeah. So, nika... So, nika amua chuku kimbili ya mugu. Mm. It was my first international race, uh, Punta uh, Pidkos, Poland. I uh, was competing in uh, six kilometers. So on a track, or my Likua? No, cross country. Cross country. Yeah, I was cross country. Uh, yes. Did they? I mean, they must have looked at you and said, "Who is this person running without shoes?" I was. I think I was the smallest one. So now I'm a feature, and I look a dog. So, but I look on a courage. I love when I look on a tough, tough future. Pia and I can say, "Ma, eh, I can't deserve." Yeah. Yes. Did you win, Ulishinda? No, I was fourth. That's not bad. Yes. Masi Cherono won. Yeah. And then, um, I think. I don't remember, mm. but it was 2010. It was a long time ago. Yes. But I remember Masi Ali win. And then I won fourth, I win 2011. So. The next year? Yes, the with next year. With or without year. shoes? Without shoes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so I won without shoes. Punta Umbria. Yeah. I mean, yes. So with the money you won, mm -hmm. did you buy a pair of shoes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. It, it was like... Uh, after Nikimpia 2011, mm. uh, Punda Umbria, Nika Pata Management. So Nikanza Kupata Viatu, yeah. Nikanza ku, Kutifunza how to run na, na spikes. Because mm -hmm. before Nilguan was quite comfortable na cooking beer, barefooted. So, yes. Yeah. And it, it, was it difficult getting used to spikes? Kabisa, mm. once a track. Yeah. Hey, 